welcome to learning max white board youtube channel so je problem so uh, this problem uh, this problem is uh, from matrix determinants you know very well about determinants so okay so just look at the question a so a is a 3 uh, cross 3 matrix so 3 cross 3 matrix why because it has 3 rows and 3 columns that why a is a 3 cross 3 matrix so the matrix is uh, a which is equal to 2 0 0 0 3 0 0 1 mean 0 0 1 so then find the sum of diagonal elements of so you need to know what is mean by diagonal elements before we are going to solve this sum we need to know what is mean by diagonal elements so diagonal elements in the sense uh, in a 3 cross 3 matrix diagonal elements is a11 a22 a33 entries of a11 a22 a33 that which means 2 3 1 So two, three, one. This is a diagonal elements two, three, and one for A. But the read the question again. Find the sum of diagonal elements of A minus I whole power eleven. Okay. So what is I? So I in the sense identity matrix. So here three cross three matrix. So three cross three in the sense I three one zero 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 one zero 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 one. So this is I three, okay. So now we need to subtract a minus i. So a minus i. So a we all know that that is a given matrix two zero 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 three zero 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 one. Okay, so minus i one zero 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 one zero 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 one. Okay. so we need to subtract this so we know uh, matrix subtraction so matrix subtraction we subtract element by element 2 minus 1 1 0 0 0 2 0 0 0 1 1 0 so this is a minus i so this is it is implies this is a minus i now we need to find a minus i power 11 so we can proceed step by step a minus i whole square so we need to find whole power 11 so we need to move uh, step by step which means a minus i whole square a minus i whole cube that's uh, that like that a minus i the whole square means you have to multiply a minus i into a minus i so we all know what is a minus i so a minus i we have 1 0 0 0 here we have 1 0 0 0 2 0 0 0 0 okay so we need to write here okay so a minus i 1 0 0 0 0 2 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 again a minus i so we we need to find a minus i the whole square that's why 1 0 0 0 okay so if you multiple so matrix multiplication we all know that so you have to multiply like this row into column first row first column so your result is 1 so 0 0 0 2 2 2 2 2 4 so i'm going to write 4 as 2 power 2 2 square 0 0 0 0 okay so this is a minus i whole square now we need to find a minus i whole power cube a minus i whole power cube that is a minus i the whole square into a minus i if you multiply this a minus i the whole square into a minus i you will get this answer so just look at here A minus i whole cube, which is equal to one zero zero one zero 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 two power cube zero 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 zero. Okay, just look at the these three. A minus i, a minus i whole square, and a minus i the whole cube. So for one, a minus i power one, you get two power one in the a two two a two two entry. Look at the a two two entry. So remaining entries are same, but a two two entry is a different for All the matrix a minus i whole square two square a minus i the whole cube two power cube so a minus i the whole cube 
a minus i the whole cube 2 cube a minus i the whole power 11 that is equal to 1 0 0 0 2 power 11 0 0 0 0 ok. So, cube in the sense we get 2 power cube 11 in the sense we get 2 power 11 that is that's, that is the logic behind this. So, we need to find the sum of diagonal elements. So, find the diagonal elements sum of diagonal elements find the sum of diagonal elements. So, what is the diagonal elements here 1 addition 2 power 11 addition 0. So, 1 plus 2 power 11 in the sense that is 2048 2048 which is equal to 2049. So, this is the answer. So, just look at your option option D is a correct answer option D 2049 2049 is a correct answer ok. So, next question. So, next question find the number of real solution of square root of x square minus 4 x plus 3 plus square root of x square minus 9 equal to square root of 4 x square minus 14 x plus 6 ok. Solution. So, uh, you need to find uh, roots I mean I am going to uh, write the uh, quadratic equation into factorized form. So, x square so first try I, I, I just write the given equation square root of x square minus 9 sorry this is plus not a equal plus square root of x square minus 9 which is equal to square root of 4 x square minus 14 x plus 6 ok. So, second step so this is quadratic equation. So, quadratic equation can be factorized into two two factors ok. So, first one x square minus 4 x plus 3 that can be written as x minus 1 into x. Mm, x minus 3 yes plus so we all know this is a square minus b square so that a plus b into a minus b is so x plus 3 into x minus 3 so this is x ok just write wait wait I will write ok so this is x and x minus 3 so this one which is equal to square root of 4 x minus 2 into x minus 3 ok. So, now just look at here. So, x minus 3 x minus 3 and x minus 3. So, we have to write one I mean I need to write one more step here x minus 1 into x minus 3 plus square root of x plus 3 into x minus 3 and this this is a positive root uh, I mean this is square root of 4 x minus 2 into x minus 3 it goes to another side of equation so this is minus. So, we all know 4 x minus 2 into x minus 3 that is equal to 0 ok. So, now look at this so here we have x minus 3 x minus 3 x minus 3. So, we can take common part. So, square root of x minus 3 is a common part the remaining term is x minus 1 plus square root of x plus 3 minus square root of 4 x minus 2 equal to 0 ok. So, here we have two options one is square root of x minus 3 equal to 0 or square root of x minus 1 plus square root of x plus 3 which is equal to square root of 4 x minus 2. So, consider this. So, x minus 3 equal to 0 x equal to 3. So, this is one solution. Next, so coming to here. So, square root of uh, so taking square on both sides 
you will get uh, x minus 1 because square and root will cancel each other and here also plus 2ab because this is a plus b the whole square formula so uh, square root of, i mean a a square plus b square plus 2 a b okay so next here equal so equal i mean this also you are going to take square because taking square on both sides so that here 4x minus 2 ok so just add this so xx 2x minus 1 plus 3 plus 2 plus 2 into square root of x minus 1 into square root of x plus 3 which is equal to 4x minus 2 ok I am going to write this 4x minus 2 as 2 into 2x minus 1 because so here we have 2 and here we have 2 and here we have 2 so the 2 is a common part x plus 1 plus square root of x minus 1 into square root of x plus 3 which is equal to 2 into 2x minus 1 so 2 2 will be cancel each other ok so here x square root of x minus 1 into square root of x plus 3 so already we have 2x so this x goes to there it will become minus x so x and my plus 1 goes to there minus 1 so x minus 2 ok so now so 2 will be cancel each other so here we have ok ok correct so now taking square on both sides so square on both sides so this is square root will cancel each other so x minus 1 into x plus 3 and right hand side becomes x square plus 4 plus minus 4x minus 4x so x minus 1 into x plus 3 that is equal to x square plus 2x minus 3 equal to x square plus 4x minus 4x plus 4 so this is 4 ok so now plus x square plus x square will cancel each other ok so just look at here so 3 goes to there it will become 7 4x goes to here it will become positive 4x so 6x which is equal to 7 x equal to 7 by 6 so x equal to 7 by 6 so here uh, we got x equal to 7 by 6 but just come here just come here so I am going to find the domain domain here I am going to find the domain ok so uh, lastly we found x equal to 7 by 6 ok so I am I just wrote here x equal to 7 by 6 so now I am going to find the domain so here the domain is obviously 3 and minus 1 so minus 1 0 1 goes like this on a number line you know minus 1 0 sorry you put plus 1 also plus 1 plus 1 I am sorry plus 1 and here 3 4 5 6 3 4 5 6 to infinity this is the domain of this one ok domain of this one square root of x minus 1 into x minus 3 so this is my plus 1 0 minus 1 so these are all the domain of x and here domain of x is a 3 4 because when you have a uh, when you have inside the root of mean inside the root you have minus 1 in the sense that is not defined ok that is not defined so using that idea I am going to find the domain so here you have 3 minus 3 and 3 so minus 3 minus 4 like that here we have 3 4 5 6 so we, we found that x equal to 7 by 6 so 7 by 6 actually 7 by 6 what 1 point something but we do not get the uh, domain of 1 point something here we have 1 ok not a one point something so that x equal to 7 by 6 is rejected 
rejected so the only solution is x equal to 3 so x equal to 3 is a only solution they are asking real real solution real solution so that x equal to 3 is a only solution for this question okay viewers thank you for watching this video